Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. Uh, we now have the dried result of our little sandwich pour that we did um, using the Tipsy Piggy recipe where we used Submarine and Horizon and Zeus and I think it was Show Pony that we used in here. And it turned out really, really pretty. I like it a lot. I love that. Can you see the sparkle on the Zeus HOA? Where it's shimmering. Very cool stuff. And the brulee. Which I see. That's very, very pretty stuff. So we're going to do our stencil on this one. So the concept behind this collaboration, it, the inspiration was our hometown. Uh, I grew up in Beverly Hills, California. And one of the most iconic things for me about Beverly Hills has always been the palm trees. Um, we were visiting someplace and we'd come home and you're driving through the streets and you see palm trees on both sides of the streets. It's just such a beautiful thing. So that always really means home to me. So we're going to be using these very cool palm tree stencils on our canvas and it's going to be really cool. I'm excited. <laughs> I had the placement sort of figured out where I wanted it about there and then this little one we're going to go about over here. Okay so I'm just going to tape these down real quick and then we will get started. Oh I should show you the colors huh. Okay, so we are using Echeveria, of course. Everything is mixed with the Liquitex Gloss Gel and the pigment. This is Echeveria. And then I am using a color I really love. This is S'mores. This is like a nice deep dark, sparkly kind of dark brown, which I'm very excited about. Okay, and then I have here some sea glass also mixed up which is this beautiful one, and some seaweed also, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna use these two. I may or may not, I used them on a different piece that I did and I had those left over. And then I have this really beautiful, intriguing color here, which was inspired by Nebula, which I was out of. So I mixed emerald and Payne's gray and sapphire and came up with this beautiful, beautiful color. So now we're gonna tape everything down and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is use our Liquitex gel gloss. And I'm not gonna put it all over the entire thing all at once. I'm gonna put it on as I'm doing that part so I know what area I'm working on. Because if you put it all over the entire surface all at once, then you can't see what you're doing, which part you're working on. So we're just gonna put a little bit on there. It's our Liquitex gloss gel. And we use this first to A, hold the stencil onto the canvas nice and tight so it doesn't lift up and B this also helps to keep our color from sliding underneath the stencil okay so there's the first palm tree part okay. I have an idea you do or a suggestion if you will what's that I saw you use a stick on its side to scrape the paint off of the stencil. What if you did that now, and then that would just leave the gloss gel underneath the so just and then, scrape then you this away see, a little yeah, bit. But then you could see the stencil. Well, I didn't put it on very, very thick, but I'll see what I'll take your suggestion. Still can't Can you see, see the stencil better? No, not necessarily. Oh, okay. And I'd rather have a little bit more on there, honestly, just okay. to have it be raised up a bit more. But that's so I was hoping you could see more of the stencil. Yeah, but that's why I'm doing it a little section at a time instead of all at once. Okay, so I'm actually going to start with some of that darker nebula color and put this down. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see where it is. I think we're just going to put this on and then see how it goes underneath. And then I'm going to put the Echeveria on top of this. 
so the echeveria is going to be the lighter color that's on the surface that shows more this is more for shadows and depth like i said this was a combination of emerald and Payne's gray and then i think i added a little bit of sapphire at the end too glass and a few little dots here and there. Okay. And let's do this palm tree next while we still have all those colors out. first over here because I don't want to cover it up accidentally with the greens and then not be able to find it. stem. So I'm going to take a little bit of that nebula blue color again and put it on the palm tree top. For this other tree. And you might have to go over an area once or twice, you know, it's okay. I think this way of doing it in sections is a little easier for me to be able to see what exactly I'm working on. Okay, so 
So we're just gonna keep doing that. Oh, I forgot to put the echeveria on there, huh? We have some tall grass.
Okay. Did I miss anything? Oh, yes we did. We missed this whole front right here. Moment of truth. Should I turn it around so they can see it Which one do you want to do first? As you wish. Let's do, yeah, sure. Let's do this big one first. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Semper Paratus, my love. Mm. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to clean that up in just a second. Like an old leaf, okay. There we go. Very cool. Okay, so now we're gonna take a baby wipe. I'm gonna wrap it around my palette knife a few times. later on and fix those. But that looks pretty cool. So here is our hometown inspired Beverly Hills Sherbert Sky with the Tipsy Piggy recipe and our iconic Beverly Hills palm trees. So I will show you guys this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. I hope you watch everybody else in the collaboration because I know they worked really hard for you guys and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so this is a few days later. It has been dry. <laughs> this turned out really, really cool. I love that tipsy piggy sandwich flip cup, flip and lip that we did as the background with all those beautiful piggies with Zeus and Brulee and show pony and awesome stuff. Horizon and submarine created a beautiful sherbet sort of sky. And then we have our palm trees with this little piggy in Echeveria and some beautiful dark brown and the s'mores in the base and that nebula color that we put underneath isn't showing up as the blue it's just giving a lot of depth to the palm tree fronds which is pretty cool I think so that's kind of awesome I love Echeveria it's such a pretty color I love all the piggies <laughs> but this turned out really really fun 
Thank you so much to you guys at this little piggy and at Fluid Art Co. You can get all your piggy supplies at fluidart.co, which is awesome. They're lovely people. This was a lot of fun. I hope you guys check out all of the other videos that are going before and after me today in our hometown collaboration for this Little Piggy Pigments. Thank you guys so much for being here. We'll see you real soon. Have a beautiful day.